guys, this is Brood Opinions. I'm Ziggy, and today we're going to look at Founders KBS Imperial Stout. So let's read the back of it. It says, what we've got here is an Imperial Stout with a massive amount of coffee and chocolates, then cave-aged in an oak bourbon barrel for an entire year to make sure wonderful bourbon undertones come through the finish. Makes your taste buds squeal with delight. Well, we'll see. So this is a limited release. Um, let's see. Don't see the alcohol content on it. Um, but I got this about a month ago. Um, I actually never heard anything about it, but we'll try it out. So let me get my opener. Today we'll be using a slotted spoon. Nailed it. Okay, why do people use bottle openers again? I don't know. All right, so we're gonna pour, see the color. Oh, look at that. Very, very dark. So the color is kind of a depth of Hades black soul. That's the technical term. Um, can't really see any light through it. It is just pitch black. Kind of a purplish burgundy color, actually. That's weird. All right, let's bring this up to the nose. Get a napkin here. Spilling everywhere. It's okay. It's a big bottle. I got a lot to spare. All right. Brown sugar, kind of a sweet cream, and then that bourbon that you can't mistake the bourbon as in there. Mm, very sharp bourbon. It's good. It smells smooth. So let's see if it is. Wow. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. All right, so this one's very sweet. And so that's nice to drink. And then when you swallow it, it's, it's like a nice roasted, um, creamy, brown sugar, malty stout. Um, and you don't really get any hops. That's, that's pretty interesting. Um, it's not because it's an imperial stout, but you don't get any of that hop flavor. The only thing you get at the end, wow, that's weird, is the bourbon burn in the back of your throat like you just took a shot. That is really cool. Um, and it's been aged in barrels for a year, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if this bottle has, but that's what it says on the back, so let's go with that. Wow. It's really smooth. Um, not really balanced, kind of sharp mouthfeel, a little bit of effervescence. Um, this, when you swallow, it's very smooth, but the mouthfeel beginning is very sharp. Um, it's, it's a surprising imperial ale because the only burn or bitterness I'm getting is from that bourbon, and it really does feel like someone added a shot of bourbon to my beer before I even drank it. Um, that's a really fun experience just for drinking it. Um, you can see it's very frothy and sugary. Um, I think this is like a 9.7, something up in the higher alcohol content. This is a 2016 release, bourbon barrel aged KBS. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, this thing was very sought after. Um, I got it just because one of my friends that uh, works for Kroger that does the um, the wine stewarding, she she set it aside for me. So I w really didn't wasn't looking for it, but this is really good beer, and I uh, I like it. I'll definitely look out for it for next year. I guess they do it every year. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, it's worth the buy, definitely. This is a very cool experience. It really tastes like you're drinking whiskey, but you get that smooth taste of a stout and uh, no hops. So I like hops, so it's kind of missing that. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Um, please subscribe to the channel and check out my Twitter at Brood Opinions. All right. Thank you, guys.